Um, yeah, I bet you didn't click on this video to watch me dance in the video game. So how about I show you how to make the absolute most money possible per hour in Starfield, starting from a fresh tune when you're level 3. But Hawks, other YouTubers have made videos on this topic and they like say their way is the fastest. Yeah, I've tried them all, this is way faster. You know, as long as you don't have a problem totally ripping people off. Some of these shop owners as well as their employees are just gonna have a boat ton of money on them and you know, it's too heavy so we might as well hold it for them. I like that, that's a great idea. Regular citizens on the other hand are gonna have anywhere between 100 or less on them and you know, that's still really heavy. Just make sure you do a quick save by pressing F5 on your keyboard. Really good idea before you go and steal to do that, because if you get caught, you can just do a quick reload and try again, so there's really no penalty for basically ripping everybody off as long as you do a quick save beforehand. In order to be the biggest space ninja ever, you're going to want to get stealth as well as theft. You're also going to want to get security for lockpicking. Then put the very first point that you can get into commerce so you can actually make more money when you sell stuff. In the very beginning of the game, when you're choosing backgrounds, choose Cyber Runner. It's the very best, so snag it. So ripping people off is seriously that good? Well, you see that store behind me? Well, it used to be chock full of items, and as you can see, the shelves are barren, the mannequins are totally barren. I stole all the guns on that wall back there. Too bad I couldn't get those behind the glass case, but yeah, you get the idea. Took me maybe 10 minutes to rip everything off, and I sold everything for over 25k. Yeah, kind of ridiculous how much you can make while you're stealing, just inside of a town. Don't you worry, Space Cadet, I'm gonna teach you how to steal everything. The very first thing you want to keep in mind when you're pickpocketing your marks, always try to stand behind them. I can't stress this enough, even if you're slightly to the side, they might see you. Most vendors will not buy stolen goods, you're gonna have to pawn them off at the Trade Authority. That solstice we just ripped off is actually a laser pistol and we're gonna make 281 bones, that's not too bad. One of the very first things you're going to want to do when you get to New Atlantis is to head over to the train system and hit up the mass station, then hang a right and run over to this elevator door over here. This will lead you to the well, which is basically the underbelly of New Atlantis, and they have an awful lot of really good shops here to rip off, as well as the Trade Authority. There's also a bar here which has mission boards, a little bit more on that later because we're going to have to deliver items to a new town after we've ripped off New Atlantis completely. So how much did I make ripping off New Atlantis? Well, I made enough to buy this brand new ship, pimp it out all the way, and I mean all the way. In a little under two hours, I made over 200k. I'm not kidding when I said I've tried a bunch of money making methods, this one blows them all away. So this is actually a special moment. I'd like you to meet Jake. Jake is the only store owner in Atlantis that I haven't ripped off yet. I have been waiting to share this moment with you. Nah, kind of anticlimactic, but he still almost had 800 credits. After ripping off New Atlantis completely, and I mean absolutely everything and everyone, I took a delivery mission at the bar that led me to the City of Hayes, which is this place. I think it's the City of Hayes. Maybe it's a drug, who knows? Oh my god, I'm sorry, lady. So this is gonna be my master plan. I'm gonna make a run through this entire city here as fast as I possibly can and steal the most valuable items, as well as as many credits as I possibly can off any one of the people I see. I made a really quick lap around the city just so I could kind of figure out where everything was and it's not really that big, so I'm thinking maybe it's gonna take me about 30, 45 minutes tops to rip everything off. My main priority is gonna be any shop owners as well as their employees and any valuable items that I can grab quickly without spending a lot of time. Like ammo, because it's expensive. Our next shop is an outfitting shop and these places are generally really, really profitable. Now if people are talking to each other, half the time you won't be able to pickpocket them, so you'll have to be patient and wait until they're done. Obviously, you always want to check the back of the shop and unfortunately there's nothing back here to steal. Once these people move here, oh, it looks like they're starting to move. I'm gonna actually try to ping pong the store owner. Hopefully these guys will move into a place so that they won't see me. Oh, awesome. Okay, so this lady's gonna leave and I'm only gonna have to worry about two now. So this is gonna be glorious. Pay special attention there, cadet. I'm kind of in the corner where he can't really see me and he wants to get a better look. So he's gonna get up and he's gonna kind of walk over there. 
I'm going to get him to come into the back room, then I'm going to crouch walk right up to the item and start taking him. As long as it says I'm hidden, they won't be able to detect me. This is why having at least one level in stealth really, really matters when you're trying to rip off these really expensive items in these shops. Because I'm not joking, some of these are worth several thousand. Some of the illicit items that I'm going to steal later in the video, they are worth a ridiculous amount of money and boy oh boy, I definitely make the 50k quota. One last really good item to rip off, yoink. Now he has other stuff, but it's really not worth my time. Let's go to a different shop. Not oh, perfect. The next shop we're going to rip off is the Trade Authority. It doesn't look too big and there's no back rooms. You guessed it. We're going to rip off the store owner right after doing a quick save. And seriously, can't stress this enough. You are going to choke, especially if you're level one. So recommend that you do do a quick save before you try to steal. If you choke, just reload your save and try again. And while I'm at it, might as well steal all this food Always and, you know, sell it right back to the guy while we're here. At this point, we've only ripped off about a quarter of the town, and mass is the thing. As you can see, I have 103 out of 135. I don't want to become overweight, so let's just pawn off all these really nice items. And as you can see while I'm selling these things, like, I was ripping off some of these, say, these helmets, and they were like, bro, it's worth, like, 1700 and I'm only getting 104 Well, that's because you need to level your commerce up so you can make a lot more money per sale. Ultimately, I kind of choked. I have level 4 in theft, but I only have level 2 commerce. It would have been much smarter to have level 3 theft and level 3 commerce because I'd be making a lot more money right now. So up until this point, I've basically had a lot of successes. Even though I'm auto-saving, it's like I'm not really getting busted. But, you know, here's one of the times I get busted, so time to reload my save. When I scoped this store out earlier, I noticed that robot there, and he sees everything. So let's just head on the heck out and rip off some of these citizens on the way to the next store. And if I remember, this liquor store kind of sucked. Yeah, not a lot of valuable things. There's just far too many people in here. You're going to get freaking busted if you try to steal anything off the shelf. So we'll mooch his heavy money and solve his back problems. Before we get into some more really super duper profitable Robin Hooding, let me explain something that I'm kind of doing wrong. Like, there's a lot of people out there, and sometimes they have stuff on them as well as credits. Trust me, you want to be ripping off the other stuff as well, because it takes absolutely no time to press the E button again. Especially Ammo Space Cadet, because it has absolutely no weight, and the stuff is just like outrageously priced, so, you know, you might as well rip it all off. Time to rip off these mannequins. Now, I found this little sweet spot. If I'm crouching right next to it, I'm all hidden, and it, like, totally is awesome to have stealth, because you know when to rip stuff off. This guy, Ken Bright, here is the total hookup. I'm gonna rip that gun off here in a sec. Uh, <laughs> hey, baby. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna, uh, <laughs> steal your stuff without you knowing. That was cool. This gun right here is actually freaking totally ridiculous compared to the gun I have now. That's legendary, it's like 100 power, that's crazy. Let's check that bad boy out, and oh yeah, like, totally dominates my other legendary, so, you know. I'll probably do something stupid like sell it later. So here are my strong recommendations as you just start out and you're going through your playthrough, you're working your way through level one through three, trying to get to Atlantis. You definitely want to pick up absolutely everything you see. I don't even care if it's worth five bucks. Just spam your E key, pick everything up because you really need to level your commerce skill. And commerce skill, each level is going to take like 75 unique items sold or purchased, so yeah. Pick up a variety of things, and when you get to New Atlantis, you're just going to be able to get to level 2 commerce like almost right away. Because the first one's free, you know, besides the point you put into it. Now doing this is going to cause you to get overweight when you're doing the missions while you're trying to progress to New Atlantis. So yeah, you're going to have a little robot dude with you. Just give him a whole bunch of crap to hold for you. You can get it back later just before you sell. Oh yeah, this is another supply type store. We're gonna get freaking rich here. Let's quickly rip off all their money because that's, you know, what we're mostly here for. Then we're gonna try to tackle these mannequins. This might be a little tough. Actually, <laughs> that was really easy. They're like too busy, like talking back and forth to you. Pay attention to customers. That's why, you know, 
customers come first and quit blabbing while you're doing your job because I'm totally ripping you off right now because you're not paying attention to me. And I need to be real careful here. Oh my god, I almost literally clicked that when I was seen. That would have been bad. Jalen here, he's got a few nice things in his office I'm probably going to lift, but you know, see it doesn't take that much longer just to press the E key multiple times and make even more money. Yeah, why didn't I do this more earlier? Finally, we have made it to the security area and these places are generally loaded down with really, really good loots. Eh, I might get busted here, which would be actually kind of ironic. Seriously, bro, I was about to grab that, then those two cops came up here. That was really close. It's a good thing that, you know, they have their backs turned to me and they're not paying attention to me ripping them off. Well, except for that dude, but he's a little bit too late. And by a little bit, I literally almost got pinched there. So yeah, there's that. Now let's snag up this. My kids always wanted an Eggman, and they also need a fan too, because it's hot. Dun dun dun. So in every single security outpost, there is going to be like the mega loot, which is signified by yellow icon. Stolen items are signified as red, but these ones here do not get caught traveling systems with these in your ships or you're going to get busted and they'll take it back. Wah wah. Couldn't pick that box if I could. Probably be filthy rich. Back at the trade authority, now generally these dudes will have like 11k. Now I did sell a little bit of stuff earlier. There is no possible way this dude has enough money to pay me. So we're going to sell as much as we can, then I'll refresh the vendor. Now here's that moment where I'm going to be stupid and sell my gun because I have no idea why. I guess I'm going to start over anyway with a best start, so it doesn't really matter at this point. Now, Cadet, I'm seriously not joking. Do not oversell to the vendor to where they run out of money completely and you just keep selling your items. Because if you do that, you're going to get nothing for it. And that's a big fat waste of time and it's going to piss you off. So instead of selling all of these harvested organs all at once, I'm just going to sell one, then sell the rest of my stolen goods and then refresh the vendor. One thing that is worth mentioning, while you're totally and completely ripping everything off, none of that stuff will ever respawn like shelf spawns they never come back so once you've ripped it off it's gone for good so once you've cleaned the town out completely just take a cargo mission to deliver supplies to the next town and then rip it off too now in order to refresh this vendor you just need to find a nearby chair and then sit there when you're sitting he'll be given the option to wait and you want to wait at least 24 hours to 48 hours usually it's 48 hours we're gonna try 24 since this is my first time here so here we go if you sell a vendor out completely but you've only visited them one time they'll have all their money back within 24 hours now we can sell a whole bunch of this stuff and like i can't even sell one of the other so i guess i'll have to refresh them again yeah, I tried 24 hours again just to check and it wasn't long enough. So if you sell them out the first time, definitely going to have to wait 48 hours to refresh. Now there is at least about 10, 15, maybe 20,000 worth of merchandise that I didn't rip off that I probably should have. But I'm going to go to the mission board here. I'm going to grab my delivery mission for the very next system. Then I'm going to go rip everything off and head over there and rip that place off too. See, it's the never-ending circle of life when it comes to thievery. Like seriously, you never stop making money and you don't have to go anywhere to do it. And this is why I believe that thievery, in my opinion, is the best way to make money in Starfield. Thank you for watching.